says love is wise. And indeed, the wisdom of the heart, I believe, is its rationality. And then when you figure that there are people like uh, Pascal, uh, Son Kierkegaard, St. Thomas, St. Augustine, Pope John Paul, the, who listen as to one of their favorite philosophers, God himself. Then uh, Idukevich's um, criterion, testability, seems to me to take on a new meaning. Testability seems then not to be so much scientific uh, experimentation, or can we verify it as a fact from my immediate experience. But testability also means can I make that judgment of value that a person who is telling me something completely beyond my experience is telling the truth. Isn't it rational to let me test the credibility of that person? And of course, the primary person that many of us test is God. Uh, when you figure that um, testing, uh, for example, uh, if I were to ask everyone here, is Zanzibar an island? What would you say? Yes, you would say Zanzibar is an island. How many of you have walked all around? I'm accessible if you walk around the island and you can verify that it's an island. But I was doing another form of testability. I was deciding that the map makers are credible. Um, that brings me to an observation about the very, one of the first comments you made about um, illogicality. Or was it inconsistency? It was inconsistency. Uh, you gave the example of uh, it is good to trust people. But I would wonder whether that approach to consistency or inconsistency is not focusing on generalizations. Because, for example, if on my premises, it is good to trust driving teachers who are teaching me and I'm their student, and I don't know how to drive, then my second statement is no longer limited trust. My second statement is I'm going to trust them when I'm learning how to drive. And so the conclusion will be, it is good to trust driving teachers who are teaching me when I don't know how to drive. And so there are many um, moments during your presentation uh, where I see there could be a different criterion at play for rationality, for consistency, for logicality, especially if we use as a criterion of testability, is what the other person is saying credible? Is that a credible source? even if the content of what he or she is saying is well beyond anything I'm experiencing. How would you respond? Uh, this is the, 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 the first of all, the, the, the response was in the, in the first slide, means that this is what I always respond, especially to students. That is depend from understanding the term. And of course, you have right that we have many way of thinking what's mean rational. It is not the consistently using one in the same term. But it is the characteristic our social life means someone understanding rationality by very sophisticated sophisticated way and uh, intellectual criteria like this which give us this idea. But rational is exactly this and only this what could be testable and which we can uh, communicate each other in the subject of communication. Another one, simple. Simple we can say that from most Christian tradition point of view, the Saint Thomas Aquinas will be one of the wisest, uh, most rational philosophers. But from the Vienna Circle perspective, yeah. will be <laughs> irrationalist. <laughs> and and one of the sorry, one of the stupid guys, which live under the dogma, etc. And I don't want to blame any one of them. 
This, what I'm going to say in one sentence, this presentation, my intention was to say that uh, even the most sharp criteria which we can use never give us the warranty that we cannot find counterexample against this what we accept as rational or irrational. It is only the the, 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 the sign for our identity that mostly people like in the 20, 21st century, they like being rational. And uh, this is what I, uh, I, 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 I want to demonstrate, that irrationality is also important. That simple, we cannot be 100% rational. Uh, the phenomenon of love, the phenomenon of friendship, it is the illustration that irrationalism is present in our life. How, and how I can be your friend and not befriend Mr. Mika, for instance, I should be friend if I apply the criteria of friendship. But in fact, friendship, it is the uh, situation when we prefer one people than other without any characteristic reason. We accept because our feelings, because our emotion may be around interesting, maybe other things. So my my intention was only to give some recovery or a better position for irrationality. But irrationality it is not only set of the false, stupid people which we should eliminate from the society and we should be 100% rational, doesn't matter which meaning, rationality. Because the feelings, because emotion, because the anticipation, because the illumination, it is also some of the sources which created our human life. And uh, we can say simple. Let me use example as the conclusion. You use uh, this example, the Pascal or Soren Kierkegaard and other uh, autos. We can say simple. Let's imagine how poor, boring uh, will be philosophy if we will have only the Vienna Circle philosophy means we reject all guys which speculate, which articulate uh, different understanding, the meaning, the term rationality. They try extend this term, they can make, they try make the revision of this term, etc. So one way of thinking, even the most rational, because it is out of the discussion that the Vienna Circle as the radical project was very consistent. Only one problem that they throw out almost whole culture out of the set of the sentences which we can appreciate or accept as the Russian. So my thesis is very simple. We are not so rational how we like crime. Could I add one follow-up question? Uh, the example of a boyfriend and a girlfriend. I, I assure you, am not a woman. But <laughs> if a woman were to uh, listen to her man, and if she were not inside of her heart to be considering, is he trustworthy? Is he going to use me as a sexual object? Is he operating only by feelings that are going to last? Does he have other purposes that I'm not aware of uh, for wanting to be with me? And then even to ask yourself, am I operating just by feeling? Um, he's always on my mind. Um, I always want to be with him. But do I know enough about him that I can move into a relationship? Uh, what really brought this to my attention was in South Africa, uh, they've been doing very uh, extensive surveys. And uh, in 19, I, it was, I believe 1999, they did one survey. 
and they noticed that uh, every six hours a woman is killed precisely in the relationship of intimacy. The intimate partner violence, one person every six hours, four women a day. And then they did a study in 2009, 10 years later, to say, has the situation changed? And they noticed that in 2009, uh, one woman would die every eight hours, three women a day, precisely in that relationship of intimate partner violence. Somebody was not exercising rationality when they entered into that relationship. Uh, and then you see the social scientists very accurately noting that the difference between 1999 and 2009, four women per day and three women per day, was not statistically significant. So that it was not due to a moral improvement of any kind. And so when you see that kind, and that's not only happening in South Africa, that's happening in many, many places. And so we want to say, isn't there a need for more rationality, especially in the most important human relationship? Yes, thanks for <coughs> thank, you, thank you for this this uh, voice and this question and this argument. Uh, we can say simple again. I can repeat that. Maybe let me start from personal confession. Fortunately, a lot of people which are here they know that I am the lecturer which teach here logic, philosophy of science. So. My area of activity, my area of research, it is rather not recommendation irrationality. But I, I use this contrary to the stereotype that one way of thinking, the domination, one way of thinking, doesn't matter how good will be this way of thinking is social dangerous and uh, means how I said we need irrational as the rationalists because I can confess the rationalists even you can check that what I wrote uh, in my life mostly is connected with the rationality as the criteria of knowledge science etc but this what I discovered during my researches is that uh, reason is also dangerous if, if it is not limited. Means if we make the absolutization, the one aspect, factor, social life, doesn't matter which, in fact. Because if we uh, imagine that we can make the absolutization that the fate, for instance, also will be dangerous. Uh, or this what uh, I use that this quotation from Amsterdam that we need pluralistic society. We need even two, but alternative point of view to stimulate each other. And if we observe the tendency in the society to total domination, scientists and scientific standards something what is not scientific mostly is not recommended and we can say who if not irrationalist could give us this balance which we need to limit or keep control on the rationalist domination so simple we need the guys like uh, Paul Feyerabend the famous anarchist, epistemological anarchist, which in the end of the 19th, sorry, 20th century climbed, what great is in science? And his famous, okay, I agree, the demo, demagogical argument, but wonderful argument. Uh, he asked in one of his books, do you really believe that if you have 4,000, the best mathematicians, physicians, scientists, which work under your project. You have almost unlimited budget. Do you believe that you cannot create something special? Then 
send half idiot into the uh, moon. Means this what we understanding as the most spectacular illustration our successful humankind. Philemon asked how we can realize this stupid scientific project if so many people dying every day because they are hungry, because they are thirsty, because they are simple sick for very simple finally disease which we can easily eliminate. We just should rearrange our valuation. So, okay, Paul Feilabend is irrational. And we need Paul Feilabend and other guys which from time to time express demagogy or irrationalist critics our point of view to stimulate rationalists to rethinking, redefine the way of something like this. A bit louder because I'm curious. I said I appreciate your presentation because it's very, very interesting. But in support of your thesis, I can say uh, irrationality is very, very vital for the recognition of rationality. Illogicality is vital for the recognition of logicality. Without irrationality, we will not know the value of rationality. Okay. And then I can also say that uh, irrationality inconsistency and illogicality are very good because we are not perfect. But I will not agree with you that these are social values. Why? Because social values from what you describe, we know that values are, 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 are oriented to the end. They are they are kind of they are they are, they are the guiding principles of the society. We know that the values uh, 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 they, they, they are normative oriented. So from this perspective, we know that values are supposed to guide the society to its end. And then, if we say that, take for instance, illogicality is a value, that means illogicality is essential in the society that it should guide them to the end. Let me make it a, let me paraphrase it. Take for instance, from your argument, that the society cannot exist without maybe lying. Example, uh, as an example of, uh, of uh, inconsistency, rationality, and illogicality. But also, have you thought there are way of fighting, for instance? This is something that each society realizes. Each one of us here, we can say that definitely, in one time or the other, we have fought. But we cannot say that fighting is a social value. Yes, this is something the society cannot do without because it exists on the logic value. But we say that is not a social value. Using the same principle that you are using, I can make the conclusion that fighting is a social value, that maybe even, even uh, killing is a social value because they on the logic exist from the same argument. But we can say that these are social values because they cannot be generalized. From my perspective, therefore, by using the same definition you gave to value, I can say that these things cannot be called value because they exist. I don't know if I'm making sense. I can say that this cannot be called value simply on the basis that they exist. Since we cannot say fighting is a value on the basis that people fight, necessarily. We cannot say that killing is a value on the basis that people kill, necessarily. We cannot say that stealing is a value on the basis that people steal necessary. But we can say that they exist, but they are not values simply because they cannot be generalized as orienting the, the, the society to this end. Okay, um, okay. Uh, <coughs> back for this voice and we'll be back again okay, to this first slide about the value and the valuation. Because, uh, in fact, I, I, I was afraid when I, when I prepared this presentation that uh, our discussion will shift into the discussion about the value and evaluation. And uh, this is a uh, set of many 
questions. But let me uh, let me respond like this. Uh, this is it will be my my axiological declaration. It means I am according to value. I think that most of value which we have in the social life are ambiguous or ambivalent. Means I am a relativist. Means I can say that yes, killing sometimes is social value. We exchange this social value for other social value. Of course we not talk like this. But no one, probably, may be very cynical politicians, but they sent people to death. They killed people on the demonstration, for instance, and they, they say that, oh, Polesana, uh, that they are died. But we exchange their life as the value we like, the peace, social peace, for instance. Uh, so, we, we are not enough honest to say, yes, we know that some thieves exist in the society. We cannot say we appreciate them. But example taken from the, 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 the Polish reality, when uh, someone broken the glass mirror, Sorry, glass in the in the in the uh, window of my car. They stole the radio from the car, and I, as the idiot, going to the police station and I reporting that something like this happened. And of course, they say Polesana, but also I saw that they laughing from me. Yes. They know that they will never catch these thieves, and they even not try. So. And they start to write reports and articulate 100 questions to uh, drive me crazy and finally to say, okay, I don't want any case according to these tips. How many value was this radio? 250 police soldiers. Mm. Oh, really? It was K-10 because 250 still, according to criminal codex, it is the limits between crime and uh, something less. So they not satisfied my answer. But when you paid this 250? When I bought this way? But when it was? Seven months ago. You see? It was seven months ago. Now the value of this radio was smaller. Let's write 150. And this is the highway to, 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 to end of this investigation. They even not use this finger to try catch these thieves. Means they appreciate presence thieves in the society. They appreciate because they have much more important things. We are looking for thieves which stolen one million US dollars, not thieves which stolen hundred or even thousand Polish work. What's me? This is not big deal. So we officially no one can say that we appreciate, but we know that thieves exist. We know that will be exist and we tolerate the existence of them because we haven't enough power to catch them. So we cannot say, okay, let's go and stolen something. No one can write something like this or no one can say something like this. But social practice, yes, we appreciate, we accept it, accept it. Okay, abortion is strictly prohibited in Tanzania. Let's go to first pharmacy and let's buy the women's clean set. It is valuable, it is not valuable, but we realize, we appreciate, we tolerate. So, 
Only I know about it because I was interested in how Tanzanian leaders realize this, what is strictly prohibited. This is what I know from my country that even if it's strictly prohibited, you can manage this if you have wish. So, this shortly what I can say as the response that value and evaluation it is a very complicated set of the uh, probably we cannot find even a one <coughs> sentence that will be 100% appreciated in society. We have rather a fluctuation or tendency. This what is the pedophile uh, in uh, many countries. Here it is the tradition. So we can say that what? Who had right? Which tradition had right? This voice, what I, what I, which I express, it was voice that we should be very careful with absolutization, the rationalist, rationality as the social value. And even if we not recommend that straight, honestly, the irrationality, but simple, I not suppose that exists even one minister of education which believe that our, doesn't matter, our Tanzanian, our Polish, our American education system created the wise society where we have 100% wise person. We know that we will have in the society idiots, and we like them. Means we should tolerate them, and especially the, the, the idiot society is nice to manage, to govern. So we cannot say that we appreciate the education for idiots, but we stimulate education for idiots. Thank you very much, Doctor, for your nice presentation. Uh, when we are speaking about the question of values, they make very important parts of the society. And it is very difficult in the region to know when we come which value is absolute and which is not absolute. We will not reach even to an end. There is a subject, a topic called the ethic of values. It is very difficult to know which one is the absolute and which one is uh, takes the lower part. This is really very controversial. As doctor said now, we shall fall into the so-called uh, ethical relativism. It is difficult. What is good in Nigeria at the same time is bad in Tanzania. It cannot be. Uh, I agree also on my, uh, on my side, I agree. Inconsistency, illogicality, irrationality. Uh, there are values. They make even life possible. Let me give you an example. I was in, in Europe for about four years. There yeah, everything must be logical, consistent, and rational. Every time everything must go with the time. In such a way that you have to have even the uh, a schedule. On July, I'm going to, to, to get lunch. To, to get lunch, so I'm going to, to get lunch somewhere there. Everything must be there. And that makes life really very rigid, and sometimes when you are stressed here with time. But here in Africa, no consistency, I need to do that. Can you, can you come with me to talk? Yeah, why not? Then we go there, we eat, we eat, we make one cup of beer, then we come to the I need to also get there. We come at the evening, then we are married, life. But in Europe, you cannot meet somebody. Let us, since you said you are yourself, so they these things. Consistent, illogically, irrationality, they make even life possible. Although they are not absolute values, although they are not not in the same day, but they make also somehow life possible. Now, my question is, now that was contribution. My question is like this one. If we have this one, I can say now this is a question that was a contribution. Let's say this is Europe, okay? America, America, Africa. We know there is no any culture which is perfect. There isn't no any culture in the world which is perfect. Each culture has got some holes which has to be filled by others, has to be filled from other values from other cultures. 
each culture has got what is positive and what is negative. What is positive and now my question is from which ground the honorable president of the USA eh, Mr. Donald Trump he has spoken so pejoratively about the African countries it means that if you if you uh, you take what he said it means that there is pejorative way of speaking it means that these people are irrational illogical ecosystem from which ground he told you from that as because we know there is no any perfect culture in the world that's my question <laughs> please understand how journalists lie <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, i think the answer for this question is certainly them and according to what i said we should tolerate the idiots <laughs> sentence I, I was thinking about, but I was thinking to mention it about this what you said but because I checked how long this presentation going on and I was thinking that it would be too long uh, in the last few decades in the contemporary philosophy especially the American neo-pragmatist uh, the Putnam, Hilary Putnam the, we are Quine, Thomas Langer, and a few guys like this. They 
try uh, establish a new way of thinking about the logical opposition. Means opposition as the continuum. Means we have value, we have fact. And we mostly, according to logic understanding, that between them not exist anything. But in fact, in social life, we not have even one hundred percent fact without even small pieces of value. We recognize something as fact based by valuation. And the same, the value I connect. So I think that it is challenge for according to so-called global culture to to make the revision or uh, or a discussion that the traditional category according to intercultural dialogue. Thank you. As you are presenting, you say that the people who are national, they, are, they know that they, they, their views are right, but they tolerate those who are the wrong side. And they concluded that being, being tolerant it means that they consistent too. But if you come to the point of view of nationality, it is the capacity of selecting, capacity of, of choosing the global selections, that the global selection of our, our choices, as John McCulley defined the nationality. And if you can see that uh, as uh, Pasco propagated, I mean that he, 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 he propagated about, it, he, about uh, we call it feelings. So when you see that he's observing feelings and mostly the, like, the national, national people, they tend to use feelings because they tend to blind rational in the extent that they cannot choose well their, their, their choices. Uh, and in the, in the selection of the, of the choice, at least you use that the national, the relations, they know how to choose their, their, their to be tolerant with this ecosystems. It is the capacity that they have national, that way they can, they can choose to tolerate to this ecosystem, so that the human race may progress as what you, you presented. But if you come to what uh, Pasco says in his uh, press, press tenses, he just appreciate about the feelings, and not the rationality that with the feelings you can act more quickly. So what if that this irrationality that with the feelings but the illusion and the feelings that we act quickly with the feeling of anger, can we see that we are going to destroy the humanity that there is no what, what is should be the progress of humanity, but we we will destroy the humanity and it will be the end of the humanity as 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 I represented. What can you say about that? Yeah, so thank you for this first time. Answer is, I think, relatively simple. That value and evaluation it is not arithmetic, and we cannot say that one plus one is two always. In the value and evaluation, always answer is it depends. This uh, this uh, example which I use in the, in my logic, one portion of Gali, one portion of Gali, if you put together is still one portion of Gali. But we, <laughs> <laughs> so sometimes one plus one is still one, but different one than earlier. So we can say that we can say that the culture, the social life, it is area of interaction. And we cannot, the, my voice, I repeat again, was that we cannot make the as absolute one sort of the value. We cannot say feelings, and only feelings are important. Or reason, and only reason. And we have, yes, contrary, I also said that we have inconsistency in the society. We have contradict suggestions. My mom tell me, Greg, always trust people. But my father told me, be careful, don't trust them. <laughs> and both have rights, we can say. But it is depend. And uh, according to your question, we can say that if we will make the absolute value, it doesn't matter which one, we will have always a problem with social life.
Social life, it is the interaction in which we shouldn't limit any voices. This is I arguing for pluralistic society. Means, again, forgive me, we need idiot to stimulate our thinking. Can I ask about the famous quotation from the Donald Trump? We can say that I'm fundamentally sure that not only Africans are confused when they hear the voice of the president. <laughs> <laughs> the, 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 I posted a few times during the election in my Facebook the voice, uh, the famous American actor the Robert De Niro. Uh, Robert De Niro said that uh, I hear that Donald Trump going to punch someone because I don't know what, because have some reason to punch him. And, uh, the, Don, and Robert De Niro said, I can confess I really won't punch him. But we live in the one society and we should tolerate each other. Can I? No, that's it. Go on. Yes. We will. First, uh, I appreciate your uh, presentation. Uh, I, would, I would like to say a few things before uh, I ask the question. Uh, you know, let me start with the meaning of discovery. You know, discovery is the process of explaining a familiar thing using a familiar language. Uh, for example, uh, every, everywhere in the world, uh, people were experiencing things when you throw something up, it must come down. But it's come, when Isaac Newton comes with the theory of gravitation, it's where they explain the thing which everybody was experiencing in his life, they say, you know, the process of when you throw something, when, you come, and when it's come down, that is what we call a gravitation. And that's become a discovery. So discovery is just explaining a familiar thing using a familiar language. When we come to our debate, then we see that uh, irrationality, illogicality, and inconsistency uh, are uh, important values in our society. That is true because irrationality. Uh, illogicality and inconsistency, they are different things or different names which mean have the same meaning with rationality, logicality, and consistency. The problem is what we call uh, the way we interpret these words because we have a univocal, univocal names and equivocal. When you talk, when you talk maybe something concerning maybe Europe society, we have a uniform meaning. But when that is predicated to Africa, then it's become, it's have a different meaning, it's become equal. For example, in a, in a, in a, when, when, when we talk of inconsistency, take a simple <coughs> example, it's just a simple and a small logical example. When a parents give up two children and give each one a, a different amount, maybe for a school spending, the one is given 50, the one is given 100,000. That is inconsistent, in a simple way. But when we come to uh, Aristotle, then when we ask Aristotle, Aristotle was that uh, inconsistent, Aristotle will say, no, that is justice. Because we have distributed, distribution, uh, distributive justice. And distributive justice is when we give different things to different people according to what they deserve. For example, here in Juko, uh, we, they, 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 they have uh, employees. Everyone has on his uh, scale of salary. And that is inconsistent. You receive uh, 900,000, the other receive two, 2 million. It is inconsistent. But when we come to interpreting that in the philosophical eyes, we say yes, that is justice because you, you, you receive what you say and everybody receives what you deserve. So the problem here, what I see that 
uh, inconsistence, illogicality, and uh, uh, irrationality. They, they mean the same thing to rationality, logicality, and uh, consistency. The problem is how we interpret them. Because my friend here at EGK asked me, uh, uh, inconsistence uh, and the irrationality, they are not valid because we cannot promote people killing. But in other side of the uh, politics, we find that we have just war. The war kills. But we have the just war. We have the result to justify that, yes, the country should go to the war. And the president announced that, that we are going to the war. That means it is illegal. It, uh, that means it is legal. We have a situation whereby we, we, we is legally allowed to fight. And in another way, we have a situation where it is illegal to fight. So the problem is the standard we set in making our judgment. We call this is logic because we follow the Aristotelian logic that in order to arrive to conclusion, you first you need your premises, yeah, the first premise, the major, the minor, then you come to conclusion. That's not the logic. But if you, 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 you that's that's the belief is how we can reach the correct conclusion, how we can arrive to the right or correct judgment. But if you don't if, if you won't follow the Aristotelian way of thinking, that's it called illog illogicality. That means if you follow the Western way of thinking, it's logic. If you don't follow that, it's illogical. But this, they're, they're, I think they're, 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 they mean the same. The problem is the standard that we set in order to uh, arrive at. So illogicality, for me, I think illogicality, irrationality, and inconsistency, they are just different names. But when you go to analyze the deeper meaning of that, they mean logicality, rationality, and Consistence. So they are not, there is no difference. But the problem is how we interpret them. <laughs> because if you give somebody two things, two people two different things, and they will say, and then you say this is inconsistent. And the Aristotle say that no, that is not inconsistent. It is a distributive justice. You you receive what you say. So I think they are, they, are, they, are, they mean the same for me. I, think they I can respond in one sentence that uh, it is the coin and have two sides. And uh, it is like you said, it is two sides, one and the same coin. We cannot say that something is logically if we have an opposition, which is illogical, inconsistency and other so we and also the, this what I uh, appreciate and uh, I, I want to uh, accent in your voice the interpretation. It is the case because in fact we can say simple that all people in the whole world they appreciate justice. Everyone likes justice, but becomes question what's mean justice? How you understand? Okay.